Are we ready to stort? I'm ready to stort. Are you ready to stort? I'm ready to stort. Let's get this Let's thing stort. stort. Let's get it storted in you. <laughs> get it storted in you. <laughs> And welcome to Mental Health Monday, where we talk advocacy, resources, and ending the stigma associated with mental health. I'm your host, Amanda, and today we're doing just that. We are talking about stigma. We are defining what stigma is and providing you with helpful ways to actively destigmatize your language in everyday life. Now, what exactly is stigma? We talked a little bit about it in our very, very, very first Mental Health Monday episode. Go back and watch that one, but I will give you a quick definition. According to Google, stigma is a mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance, quality, or person. So a lot of times when individuals are struggling with their mental health, they will find that they experience stigma in society. As you've seen it throughout films, media, society, our family members, people who struggle with their mental health are faced with stigma every single day. I know I've personally experienced it in my life. People I know that struggle with their mental health have experienced it themselves. And according to research, we do know that people that have struggles with mental health issues are actually less likely to get help because of the stigma that they face. If you've never actually experienced mental health stigma, you may not know what it looks like. So let's dive in a little bit. Things that I've personally heard on my recovery journey that are very stigmatizing are, oh my gosh, those people are crazy, when maybe they're just acting a little out of character. Or, oh, that's all in your head, just get over it. Other stigmatizing language is saying things like, cheer up, it'll get better soon. Oh, just go exercise and eat healthy and get some sleep and you'll feel better. While that last one, semi-true, saying it in that kind of nature is very, very, very stigmatizing because very likely individuals that struggle with their mental health struggle to do other things in their life as well. Saying these things and promoting this language and just being this way is a huge, huge barrier for individuals who struggle and it's a huge barrier for them getting help as well. A lot of times when we struggle with mental health, even getting help with our mental health is stigmatizing. People People go against therapy, people go against medications. There are all of these really tough barriers and hurdles that we have to jump through and work through in order to actually get the help that we need. Stigma is not a joke. Stigma is a very real difference between life or death for individuals who struggle with mental health issues. You may think that you're being funny when you say these kinds of things, but oftentimes there are people who are struggling listening to what you're saying, seeing what you're posting on social media, and consuming the things that you express. This is why active language choice is so, so, so important in our everyday lives, and while checking ourselves in the moment, even when we're alone, is so important. Now we'll go into some tips on how to help you destigmatize in your daily life because you may be doing things you don't even realize that you're doing and that's okay the important thing is that we're learning and we're making an active effort to change try to use person first language do not use mental health issues as descriptors or adjectives like that person is so OCD that person is so bipolar instead you can say that person struggles with bipolar disorder that person struggles with obsessive compulsive disorder by using person first language we put the person before the thing that they're struggling with because as we know the mental illness is not the whole person the person is a person outside of what they're going through for the next tip try not to use hyperbole so instead of saying someone is crazy you could say well that person's really different instead of using the term crazy crazy has been used to vilify mental illness for so long it's very important that we just completely remove it from our vocabulary. And for the last tip, don't undermine or put down mental health treatment such as therapy, counseling, CBT, or medications that actually help individuals who are struggling with mental health issues. Instead, learn about how these things are super helpful for individuals who are struggling with mental health and even super helpful for individuals who aren't. As always, it's extremely important to be patient with yourself when you're reorienting your language and you're trying to be better. There may be times where you will slip up, there may be times where you falter. Just remember to keep checking yourself and moving forward in a very open and empathetic way. And as Brian says, practice till you got this. And just remember that stigma can be extremely, extremely harmful to individuals who are on the other end of that stigmatizing language. It can lead to people not getting the help that they need. And as we know, that can lead to very, very serious consequences. So as always, make sure that you are leading with hope, change, empathy, and sympathy on this journey. And remember, there is always positivity that we can leave in this world. And make sure that's what you're doing.
Thank you so much for joining us for today's Mental Health Monday, and we will see you again next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.